Hello there. Continuing with non-isotropic materials. If an incident on polarized light hits this non-isotropic medium, it can travel through that material unaltered if it travels along the optic axis defining the preferred direction. But if the direction of propagation is perpendicular to the optic axis, then one polarization will travel faster than the other inside the material. What if the optic axis makes an angle with the direction of propagation? Well, in this case, we can see how still one of the polarizations is perpendicular to the optic axis, which we will call ordinary ray, but not the other, which we will call extraordinary ray. The ordinary ray is unaltered but the extraordinary ray sees its trajectory altered. If we think of it in terms of wavelets that we introduced at the beginning of this course, we can decompose the polarization of the incoming ray into parallel and perpendicular to the optic axis. Because the index of refraction in each direction is different, then we will not have spherical wavelets. They will be elliptical, this is going to change the direction of propagation in the extraordinary ray, leading to a behavior for this ray that does not satisfy Snell's law. If we have calcite, for example, over a paper with written text, we will see two images of the text. Of one of them will be fixed and the other will rotate as we rotate the crystal as we are rotating the optic axis.